Hello and welcome to the video. So this is two weeks before the biggest competition of the year in New Zealand. And the week prior to this, I did a really hard session. I was hitting peak weight room numbers, peak jump numbers in training. You know, it's kind of going nutso. And I get here, it's a fantastic day. And I jump close to perfect, really. Just the, the way I could feel the force into the ground. Maybe not technically sound, I'm not great at the, you know, technical analysis. I understand I probably wasn't leaning back enough, but I managed to get a 205 with room to spare. So as a pre-meet before Nats, uh, it's a fantastic indicator. You know, I'm basically in prime condition. All I got to do is not suck myself out and not fuck it up really. But honestly, I've done so many competitions. I feel like it would be routine. And the 207 attempts were really that close. Also, me and Caitlin won gold in our respective categories, and here's us being cheeky. And then on to the Sunday. And this is the final hard session before the final prep week. So, this whole week prior to this and this session is trying to hit really, really high numbers and really high jump specific exercises. So, I try to hit a PB in my back over here. Now that fucker. Let's go. And then it's basically straight on to a couple 8 steps and then 10 step run ups. So I'm pretty much pretending it's a competition and not thinking too technically about my jumps, which is probably my biggest downfall. But I was feeling really good. The sun was out, I was pretending it was a competition. I'm a little more rested than usual. Today was the day to hit the 2 meters in training. And I think it's around here you can hear some <laughs> kids actually building up in the audience. And this attempt was probably my closest ever in training. And then spoiler alert. With that jump, <laughs> I've made the two meters in training. And I don't know how I'm going to make a video on that, but you, you know, you're watching this one. And, you know, then it's the final sprints, trying to maintain, you know, being really fast for, for Nats. And then we had the weight room. And, you know, I'm doing hand cleans, which is one of the most specific elastic exercises you can do for high jump. And I'm just ripping heavy weights, you know. I think my PB for a single is like 82 kilos, so ripping out three at 75. I'm primed, I'm ready. Peak condition, dare I say. And then it's on to the final prep week. So, Tuesday. Four five-step run-ups. And I'm just going for height, I'm going for near my PB. I feel a little niggle that, you know, I got from the Hawera competition forever ago. So at 90 I call it, then the next day I have a really light weight session that I didn't record because I suck. Sorry. And with that, it's time to travel. Jokes on you, you just enjoyed some Dunedin views. <laughs> but now it's time to compete. The weather was kind of average at best, so I felt it was going to be more of a competition as opposed to a PB fest. Physically I was feeling pretty good, but getting deeper into the comp I could just tell I wasn't hitting certain technical aspects of my jump well. But after some good talking with the coach, we've identified a few things, just after the comp of course. This comp also cemented the idea that I compete better after a hard week than right after my deload week, as opposed to the opposite. Basically I just couldn't get 100% into the comp. And I finished with a 203 and a third place. 207 not to be again. And as short as that segment was, that's how short the competition felt. And it was over. And, you know, I'm happy with a third place, right? I'm fantastically happy. I might not sound it because, but, you know, I felt like I could have done more. I wasn't at the best of my powers, but that's kind of the nature of the game, isn't it? And, you know, I'm really excited for next season. And I actually have one more sneaky meet that's a casual interclub. So, PB race is still on, fellas. I'll fucking see you there.